Hello everyone. Welcome to the Spark Lab. This is Dr. Shivakumar, Associate Professor, Amrita Vishwa Vidya Pitam in the Department of Chemistry. Today I would like you to take a good look at our new lab. Thanks to the Amrita Seed Grant, which was provided as part of the 2022-2023 academic year. The Spark Lab is an acronym for Smart Polymers for Advanced Release Kinetics. The world has seen with the advent of artificial intelligence and machine learning, wherein a new drug molecule could come into the pharmaceutical industry and available to the market in a very, very short span of time. But seldom the companies focus on how these drugs are delivered because drug delivery systems are one of the most important system in not only the design of the drug, but how it reaches the patient with its compatibility and the bioavailability and the most important thing as to how minimum we can have the side effects reduced. Our lab is focusing on advanced release kinetics, which is primarily investing time to make polymer nanocomposites, which encapsulates these drugs in order to ensure that there is a controlled release of this drug into the biological system. Not only these polymers ensure the controlled release, these polymers are biodegradable and biocompatible. The Control Drug Delivery Lab also deals with another part, which is about a nano drug delivery system, wherein we are talking about nanobot technology and delivering these drugs, which does not cross over the blood brain barrier are now being achieved because of the nano size of these drug molecules. Hence, this particular lab, which has two divisions. One is the wet lab, the chemistry lab, which is involving the students to learn about the wet techniques. Apart from this, the characterization of these polymer nanocomposites, as well as the identification of the structure of these drug molecules is an important component, wherein we have a dry lab, an instrumentation lab, which helps in the students to learn techniques which involves UV visible spectrophotometry, FTIR spectrophotometry, and they also learn and analyze these structures with the help of our other campuses where we have XRD, which is an X-ray diffraction spectrophotometer. They also learn techniques like SEM and TEM, which are scanning electron microscopic techniques, which involves the analysis of the surface morphology of the particular polymer composite. And we are also investing our time on computational drug design, wherein we are particularly focusing with docking these protein and the drug molecule, which is involving AI and ML technique, and bring in a very wholesome output from this particular lab, where we not only focus on getting into a new pharmaceutical ingredient, Apart from that, we also focus our attention on the drug delivery and the characterization facilities. This way, the Spark Lab, as we call it, ignites the research in the young minds to focus not only on coming up with new drug molecules, but also the safety of these drugs. I hope this particular lab is an opening for all the young researchers, and I would invite anyone who is willing to do research on these aspects. Thank you so much. I am working here uh, as a chairman of physical sciences. Uh, we are working on uh, control release of drugs, uh, but we don't want to limit to only this one. We, as you know, nowadays, a uh, lot of pesticides are used in uh, agriculture fields uh, to get a good crop yield, and it is spoiling the environment it is causing the water pollution as well as the soil becomes highly infertile. For that, we used to use a lot of biopolymers, like example, alginates, which are available in plenty uh, in a sea. And uh, the speciality of these alginates is they are biopolymers and biodegradable, non-toxic, available in plenty. Anything you put in that, they retain, they form a gel, they retain the drug or pesticide for a long time. We make uh, biopolymers and uh, mix with the, all these pesticides and spray in the plants which will form a very nice hydrogels and it will spread entire plant 
and it will be retained so eventually all the pests will be killed and even during rainy season it will get into the soil but since the biopolymers are degradable they easily degrade thank you